What's up guys, welcome to your 15th PHP tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys something called functions and how to use them. Now functions are actually one of the most useful and one of the easiest things to learn in PHP. So this is a kind of important tutorial to watch. Now what a function is is simply a set of code that any time later when you're writing when you want to write that code that you just type in the function name and it saves you from typing the whole bunch of code again so hold on got a AIM lunchbox 10 so make sure whenever you're watching this tutorial and you have AIM instant message lunchbox 10 and tell them to shut up and quit disrupting me during my tutorials. Alright, back to my tutorial. A function saves you a bunch of time when you want to code your site. So let me just tell you how to do this. The syntax to begin a function, you, first you type in function and what this does is introduce it to PHP and let you know and tells it alright PHP we're going to be typing a function after this and then after function you type in any name that you want anything you want to call your function and I'll call mine test fun so now my function has the name test fun and then you have to add something called the parameters like we worked with before and we'll be going over these next time but now we're just going to leave them empty for now so now inside our function any code that we want to execute we execute within the curly braces so any code that we want to tell this function to execute goes in between the curly braces right underneath it so this function can do anything that you want it to do what I'm gonna have it do is echo easy hoss I'm just gonna have it basic echo output the text easy hoss so now whenever we write the function test fun it's going to echo the word words easy hoss so now if we go down here and let's just say we're typing on the screen or we write take it and now if we don't want to go ahead and type all of this again we can just type in the functions name so we'll just write test fun make sure you include your empty parameters and as you can see when we save this it should execute take it easy hoss because that's the text for a function as you can see it says take it easy hoss now again you don't only have to use it just once this saves you from any time you want to write this again you can just use the test fun so let's say we're working typing in some more code and it said first of all let's add a line break so it's easier and remember you have to include it within quotes and you add it with a period so now we can say I said take it and then again you can say include my function right here so again, not only do you have to use it once, but you can use it multiple times. And it saves you from typing this code each time. So now, if we save it, it says, take it easy, Haas. And here's our function right here. I said take it easy, Haas, on the next line. And this is also useful, say, instead of changing all this code and all this code if you didn't use it, say easy James anytime you want to change a bunch of this for all the instances on your screen you just have to change this one time and now if we saved it you can see take it easy James I said take it easy James and this is how you can include a block of code many times on your screen with only one set of actual coding and it'll save you a bunch of time so next time we're going to be going over how to actually use these parameters but for now study this get the basic functions down as you can see it's really simple and it'll save you a bunch of time Thanks.